Scott from the Javelin Tech team demonstrating some new functionality added in SolidWorks 2015. When deleting components from an assembly, you now have a couple more options. In SolidWorks 2013, the functionality was changed such that, such that you could delete components straight out of the subassembly. So for example, if I select this component here, it would delete this component straight out of this subassembly that it's contained in. Whereas versions before that, it would delete the entire top level subassembly. Now SOLIDWORKS 2015 gives you the power to choose what you want to delete. You now have the, the option to delete either the entire top level subassembly that contains the component or you can delete the component out of the subassembly. So if I select this component here and I hit delete, you can now choose to delete the entire subassembly that's contained in the top level. Or when I hit delete, you can choose to delete only the selected components, which will remove them from the subassembly that it's contained in. 